Hi everyone, you're back with Down to Mars. We've got another episode for you. If you haven't already, check out all our previous episodes. We've had some really juicy ones over the past just well, I was going to say past year, but I mean, it's only the beginning of the year, so make sure you run it up, check it out, subscribe, all of that good stuff. We've got Lippy back with us today. Back with us. Woo, woo, woo. We had to have you back again, you know. Back again. You know. How are you finding yeah. it so far? All right, man, I like it. Yeah, it's all right. Come come it's all right. Come I feel on. like you need to come with more enthusiasm. Let's, let's ask you that again. Four, man. I'm, I'm a 10, what do you rate us? Out of 10, yeah. Out of 10, what are you rating this right now? Quick answers. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, okay. It's all smooth. It's nothing. That's good. Now, we like having you here, man. We really do. Yeah, man. But, yeah. So today's topic is mm. a little bit more out there. It's a bit dangerous. This one. It she is likes it like that, don't she? <laughs> it's a <laughs> so obviously, we've been having conversations just about like, we always talk about things. And anyway, like the topic of, I want to touch on the topic of casual sex. Well, really, it's quite vague, casual sex, because how can you differentiate casual sex? Like, I really mm. struggle. Like, you know, is casual sex, for example, when you're just linking one person for a long time, but there's no label? Or is it like, you know, yeah, there's people that... Where you're freeing it up. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, does it come under are the same... Are you freeing it or are you... Consistently narrowing one it. person? Yeah. <laughs> like, where do you kind of say... What is the other alternative, though, other than casual sex? It just like... Ring on your finger. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Obviously, but I mean, like, if you're just out here, like, with just different man, in, out, whatever... That's casual. But then would you say it's, same, it's the same thing if you're just linking the same person consistently for a long time, but you both don't want a relationship? Yeah, that is well, casual. yeah, because that, that's not your man. It's both, but there's, it's both ends of the spectrum. It's Literally. Both. Yeah, that's, it is a spectrum. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a okay. spectrum. Okay, it's true. Levels. But then why, okay, one thing that I want to ask, mm-hmm. and it's good having a male's perspective on this, hmm. why is it that casual sex is such a taboo amongst women, but with guys it's so, it's so accepted? Do you know what I mean? Like, I think if a girl's casually... Fuck. Yeah, society's fucked. Yeah. I but think it's it getting fuck, better. No? It's getting better. Do you oh, think that's so mad though? It's definitely fucked. I don't necessarily think... I mean, Why would you say it isn't? I don't know. I just feel like... Well, it isn't bad that people judge women more than they judge men. I think it is bad. I don't think anyone should be judging anyone. You know I'm big against that. Like, just mind mm-hmm. your business. But at the end of the day, I think from a man's perspective, obviously I'm not a man, maybe you can confirm. I feel mm-hmm. like men don't really see sex that deep. Like, the majority of women, I would say, not to say all, and I said this to you a lot the other day. Yeah, yeah. I said this to you. I feel like a lot of women, you are just thinking, I know you're thinking, like, no. No, But a lot of I women to... take sex deeply. Mm. Yeah, and I think catch it hits feelings, women Whereas I think men, Listen. a lot of them can have sexual relations, and it doesn't but I know even s- think twice for them. I know certain girls, because you know what it is? Like, I'm a G now. I've always been a G, but like, in, but in obviously right on a now. social media thing, I'm a G in social media. All right, so yeah. man. A man just chatting to a bear, kind of girl. You see them? There's some girl. Like, there's a section of social media where the girl them. Like, I'm not saying what kind of girl. Listen, listen, I'm talking about the girl. Like, 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 now I'm being honest. Yeah, yeah. Look, yeah. yeah. Talk up. Girl, look, I'm waiting for the tea. Come on. Yo. But what are you trying to say? I'm just saying, like you said, there's there's some girl find sex deep. I'm just saying there's certain girl they don't find sex deep. And like, man, rock with them kind of girl. No, man, fuck with them kind of. I'm not saying raw. Like, do you know why I respect it? Cause it's like it's a judgmental world, and it's like I think certain sisters are taking ownership of the thing, in it. Well, so do you know what? It, it's good that you say that because I feel like with the whole like music, even the music industry nowadays, mm. like it's 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 giving women more of like that kind of freedom. Like you got Cardi B, Meg Thee Stallion, mm, yeah. them kind of artists, yeah. city girls that are making like songs that give women their their voice. Only in your sexuality. Yeah. yeah. Whereas before yeah. it was more like women didn't have that kind of. Yeah, man, I was like, t- don't get, like you said, it's still taboo, but I kind of think, like, it's not fair, innit? Mm-hmm. I'm not saying it has to be completely equal. I get it, it's different, innit? But do I think I it should be Why more... Why is it different, sen- though? Because it's like, I don't know, man. What's your actual reason for like, I'm a man, I, I'm not a woman, innit? So I don't know, but I... Because I, I, of the way things are, it's different because of society. Let's just say it's society, mm. innit? Let's just say... I think it's different because the man is the um, number one. It's like, this is society's view. It's obviously that the man is the... 
like the doer. Yeah, he's yeah, the, and he the, pursues. And, he, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And the like, yeah. guys, like, it's getting done to yeah, them. So yeah, so the, the man is dominating the that, woman. That's, so that's like, society, though. Of like, course, but that's what we're going off of. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Because if it wasn't for society, then everyone would just be yeah, just there, take fuck, fuck, fuck what you lot think. But it's not like that. Do you think the world would be better? Because I have fucked thought, like, what would you, would you think, do you think the world would be calm if there was, like, no such thing as relationships, like, everyone, there was no such thing Ooh. as, like... Oh, I don't know, it? that would be a very crazy yeah. world, I don't know. Like, how do you everyone know just that, out here just I genuinely feel like, yeah, that you need, when you have, when you're in um, a relationship or when you're, if mm-hmm. you're, if it's, if it's correct, then that person is supposed to kind of, like, balance you out in a sense, mm-hmm. isn't it? Like, so I do kind of believe, like, relationships and people cohabiting and whatever your kind of relationship is it balances out like you need that Mm. not to say you have to be in a relationship but when you are in the (laughs) right ones are necessary in it i don't think everyone could just be lone soldiers Mm. that would be chaotic i think that would work in a (laughs) sense if it was only about sexual relations but like you said with a partner long term it's not just about Sex, it's yeah. you've got goals, you know. The only reason like, I'm saying you are that, cool yeah. and comfortable together, then it's someone them from as a child. Open in. relationship people, like their oh. life is wavy, you know. I don't know if but I could do it. it. I, I, yeah, it like, is, I though. Know. It is like I know some of them, gal. yeah, them gal is wavy, but there's people but that's wavy that's, about there's people no, that that's listen, cool, though. Mm. You go to them, gal, and they'll be like, yo, like their man dropped them there and shit. What, it's, to them, to the it's a different world. Drop them where? To where you are. <laughs> like, Raw, who's my man? Why is you sitting in the front seat of the cab and that? Like, no, that's my husband. It's like, Raw. <laughs> that was your husband. Like, like, no, not me. Yeah. It's not me. It's yeah. just obviously. Yeah. I'm, en- I'm entering certain <laughs> financial brackets certain times. Let me. That's what. Right. Them okay. richer people, bro. They're on. They've been mad, bro. Me, I'm clean, dog. I got my <laughs> yoga. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let me know that I'm good. Yeah, well, but some of the rich man, them, the rich girl, them, they're that's living, man. That's how they're living. But that's I rate them, in it. It's not for me, but I'd be, I'd be like, you know what, big up you, lot, car. Yeah. It's a little, You're doing your thing. it's a system over there that's working. Mm. Mad move. And don't fix what's not broken. Mad move. But then on the topic move. of that, yeah, like, uh-huh. do you think there's anything wrong in like a one night stand? Nah. You don't? Nah. What do you? It happens. Ah. How can there be such? Because my thing is, yeah, you got to look. <laughs> I would say. This is, would, let's be honest, uh, yeah. When he finishes. Sorry, too, darling. Say. But let's be honest, yeah. <laughs> darling. Thanks, thanks, thanks stand, yeah? yeah. You don't know, in it, the context. It might not be the intention. Might not be a one night stand. It might be you thought it was vibes. Yeah, yeah. but the thing is, my, my whole. But even view, if the intention was one night stand, yeah, fuck listen, it. Like, I'm not saying I personally movie, think. It. I don't ne- necessarily personally feel like that. I think there's anything wrong with it, but personally, I just couldn't envision myself meeting a stranger at a bar and thinking I want to go home with you. Oh, like, yeah. obviously, if it's yeah. someone that maybe you've been <laughs> speaking to and you're whatever, then maybe it's a bit different. Would that classify as a one night stand? It's still a one night stand. No, but I'm. So- but I'm talking about if you know people like they will hook up with people that yeah, they just that, met. Yeah, I think that's, that's a bit wild. What's you know what? First of all, mean? aside from like, like sexual desire, that's a very dangerous situation. Yeah, 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 I've yeah, just yeah, met yeah. you, but you know and that I'm going somewhere. People no. might go out on a on a night out, meet someone at the club, and go home with them. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah, yeah. obviously that's what I see as a one night stand. Obviously, it could be just like you've been I speaking to someone, you see them once. That's dread. But that's wild for me. It's dangerous. It's very dangerous. You don't know this person. And I personally think, like... And hey, you don't know what if their plan was kids. the whole time to let no, me find this yeah, mm. drunk, get a drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and a lot of men have that intention. Like, yeah. yeah. But also, surprised. like, I don't know. I can't speak for everyone. I can speak for myself. But I mean, when I say that, like, sexual tension doesn't just come... Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like... Not always, t- but sometimes. It can, so it I don't can, think, yeah. I don't think I just, just see someone in a club and be like... Yeah. It's all about circumstances, though. Because it's like, you see me, I will not... I've never been on a man named holiday. I haven't. I know you? myself. Aww. What do you mean you've wait. known yourself? You need to I've got to wait movie. till I'm like 37, bro. Why'd you say that? Because it's I know myself. I'm <laughs> fucked. I'm a fucked guy, bro. I'll think yeah, I'm in love for 15 you... minutes and I'll just destroy my life, bro. Wow. Yeah, but why bro, would you I'm... wait till you're 37 and destroy it then? Because at least... Because you... you're not going to change. My youth them's old enough, they're good, man. They can... <laughs> you get me? <laughs> 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 
Like, yo. Hey, you get me, but right now. And then he's dipping out. Nah, nah, nah. Once you're old enough, girls, to understand. Nah, I'm going to live my life. Nah, listen, it's peak. We'll see you like 40 and I'll be for that. I know, nah. I, I just, I don't do the one that stand thing and all of that. Why? Okay. It's too, for me, I'm too. Are your feelings kind of guy? It might not even necessarily be feelings, innit? I'm just paro, I'm just. Paro. I don't know, man. Just life, innit? Paro, life might just lick me down, man. I'm not on it. Mm. Life's lick me down, bare times. Mm. And I, I think we have to read between the lines on this one. Yeah, nah, nah. Mm. We can't get licked down again. It is mad. And I do think, like, with the whole casual sex thing, it can be quite techy. I know we were talking about it before, like, you were saying about with women, you know, like, it's hard as a woman because you. You feel emotion. No, mm. not me personally. No, I'm just saying no, the like, majority no, no, of women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but I feel like on the on the back of that, like, do you, can you blame someone from from catching feelings off of like just being casual with somebody? Because even though no. you know what you signed up for, because if you're spending that much time with that person, you're sleeping with them, like, and you know the more that you sleep with somebody, the the better it gets. So yeah. it's like you know even them, on yeah. yeah, even on a casual, and that's why I would even say to throw it a little bit of like you could I couldn't be friends with somebody that I've slept with. Yeah, yeah. I, no, I don't think you can. I don't want to well, leave. I, I see something on Snapchat actually yesterday. Let me read it, yeah, because um, I thought it was an interesting. I, I personally completely disagree. I don't think that you can consider someone. What was it? So it's can friends have a sexual relationship and still keep it on that friendship level? No. How? No. You've crossed too many boundaries. It's Lippy, you've got a little face yeah. over there. I'm sure. <laughs> you disagree? You, mean, you know something that we don't know, <laughs> innit? So obviously you know something we don't know. Talk up the things, innit? Talk it up, put it up. That's true. <laughs> Yo, I don't know, man. It depends, man. I think things aren't black and white like that. Like, no two friendships are the same. You don't know. Yeah, of course. So I think yeah, but do you think you could be calm with a girl that you know that you've been, like, Sleeping with, and it's been, it's been. Like, what do you mean calm? Like, like as in friends with her, and it, and it. Because you can be calm with someone, but they're not your friends. Yeah, you know no, I, I mean, mean as in friends, like remain friends, and then say for example, she's moved on with her life, you've moved on with yours, but you guys both know what happened before. I think That's no, because right. there's mean. always That's that weird. little like you don't know what you did. You know, you know. Listen, there's certain girls. I was about to say mad thing. <laughs> yeah, no, like, there's mad certain gaps. No, I'm yeah, saying nah, the mad thing. We like the mad thing. We want to hear it. Come on, you're down to Mars. Listen. Free up yourself, no man. It's peace. Relax. Relax yourself. what I'm saying. Yeah. Have a sweetie. <laughs> That's what's wrong with me. But you see, you see the casual sex team, man. Like I said, I don't think... I think people just need to not watch people, man. Like, I know people that like, have had bridging, so I'm like, bro, <laughs> that's your girl. And they're like, bro, it is not my girl. But they're moving they're like, bro, that's, that's girl. your yeah. girl. It's not Man, my girl. Man, we living with a girl no, going home to her every night, but this that's not girl. girl. Why? This, this said girl will get into a relationship and it's just calm. It's just, yeah. what, it's it's just calm. like, yeah, she's got a man now. We're yeah. not like that no yeah. more. Well, I've got a girl now. We're not like that no yeah. more. It's mm. like, bro, you lot are strong still. But then I think, I think, when you're, if you can't, I just don't see the concept behind still maintaining a relationship with that person on a friendly level and... You know but you sometimes, okay, cool. At the time, you it they might have been single. You were single. Yeah, it exactly. Fit at that time, it was innit? wavy. That's what I mean. By yeah. It's wavy. yeah. Now yeah. you yeah. might have found a boyfriend, da, 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 but you ain't got a reason. So you're, to got, say you're still rah. gonna be linking up with this person, calling them. Sorry, yeah, it's too much. <clears throat> it, but that's what I, I think. I think that depends on the on the circumstance. But personally, I think once you overstep the mark, it's never gonna be a friendship thing because there's. It's Always disrespectful to both of your partners. There's no lines in the friendship. Boundaries. No, there's lines in friendship. I think it's friendship. disrespectful. I would not go and be sleeping with my normal bridge. No, like yeah. That. So it's like, mm. I'm not going to be friends with somebody who I have that type of situation with <laughs> because it's like, you can't be cool. You I've never... I've, nah. You never maintained a friendship Do you have somebody? female friends? Yeah. Have you slept with any of them? Wow. Mm, yeah, no. There's no. that. <laughs> no, I haven't. Not if they're my friends. Not... No. Oh, well, well, you just said that you could be friends with someone. I'll be honest, yeah. Not if they're your friends. I've got one proper, proper female friend, yeah. Yeah. Like, her son's my godson and that, like. Okay. I've never, like, it's never it's been never like It's never been that, like that. yeah. She's my sister, you get me? But, yeah, the other girl, jeez. I don't know, man. I don't, it's techie. I don't know, man. It is a technical one. But then, even on the flip side of that, like, you know, if you was, like, casual with somebody, I don't know, like, for a consistent amount of time, do you think that that could ever become something serious. Do you know what I mean? Because, you know, like when you've started off just being friends with benefits, do you 
you think that it would be weird if one day you guys just end up in a relationship? Like, I don't think it would be weird. I think it's probably more com. It's probably quite common. You think? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I think people we will go on like, yeah, you know, when we're 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 hard, we're not going to catch feelings. Da, 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 but, but you can't control. Catch. Yeah. It's inevitable. If you're yeah. in a certain situation, you're seeing someone regular, like you lot are making mm. having certain experiences together. You're bound to. If you don't catch feelings with them, are you a Martian? Like, yeah. it's weird. It's but weird, then, isn't it? Mm, I don't know. I, obviously, I get what you're saying, but in my, I don't know, I'm thinking that, like, you know, when you start off, I feel like there's def- different levels of, like, how you would treat somebody that you go into intentionally, like, being in a relationship with and somebody mm. that you're just going to have fun with. Do you know what I mean? So it's just, like, if you know, like, maybe the respect level is a bit different because that's not someone that you're valuing as a girl. It de- I don't know. Obviously, man. I'm maybe just overthinking that. I don't know. It's, I don't know. I, I, no, I don't know. It depends, isn't it? It all depends. Because sometimes when you meet people... You might meet people in circumstances where you don't plan to meet them, like at work Mm. or rep. You get me? Where you're just... Like, you might have a work colleague, but it can never be like, oh, this is going to be a sex team from day one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You don't know. So it's like... But it just pops up. A lot of it is like... I think a lot of, quote, unquote, casual sex is deciding what's warning, isn't it? Because sex can kind of happen naturally, isn't it? And sometimes I think people ain't even decided, oh, is this serious? Is this casual? Mm. Is this? So kind of there's a bit of a mutual respect at first. Mm. And when you know, like, boom, it's this or it's that, you get mm. me? But again, the circumstance can change. Because that's what I think. I think casual sex, it never, ever stays like that, in it? The circumstance mm. always, always yeah. change. Yeah, because fa- fa- life is ever-changing. There you go. And it, that, so. will ev- that will always make, that will either make it progress into a relationship or stop. Or it has to in stop, my, yeah. In my opinion. And to be honest, yeah, when you're dating, I think now especially it's become a part of the dating process to have sex. Yeah. I think a lot of people do date and are sleeping together before they've before even got into anything serious. Yeah. So without even knowing it, you are now like... A ca- yeah, like... And it changes how you view that person. Yeah, because no, of you, course. It's a le- level of intimacy. Of course. But then even... On, I keep saying... I'm just like this. I'm <laughs> but, I mean... Guys, I'm just chucking in the deep end. Do you think there's a difference? <laughs> I want everyone to say what they think on this one. Oh this question's Lord, really yeah. wow. Mix Do you think there's a difference between casual sex and relationship sex? What the actual sex, like the yeah. act. Okay, well, so we're going and summers today. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> love honey. <we're laughs> sponsor by love honey. If you want to subscribe. <laughs> no, but seriously, do you actually think there's a difference between because? Do you think relationships are a bit more respectful? Yes. Or no, no, maybe it's all for itself. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I, I don't know. <laughs> Like, no, I, think it, I think it depends on comfortability. Mm. I think Definitely it comfortability. comfortability yeah. Because when you know someone and you're comfortable with them, then there's certain like there's ways that you maybe mm. wouldn't go with. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, yeah. So but some people be doing things. The, the, the more mag- comfortable you are with someone, then you're you're willing to kind of okay, let me try this or do do do. you know what I mean? Like, and it's a different kind of. Feels a little bit different. On that, would you ever feel uncomfortable in a relationship, like trying something with someone? Say mean? they wanted you to try something, would you do that it? What? In a relationship? Yeah. Try what? Like, try what? In terms of like, n- no, you're saying like when you're more comfortable with someone and I'm just saying if that person then asked you to try wanted something. Wanted to try something? Yeah, of try course. What? I think it's more, it are depends. we more open to it in a relationship? <laughs> He's like, what are you talking about? You need to know what it is. It's level. Listen, you got to try this one. Yeah, yes. Try <laughs> yeah, that feels sweet. It's a bit, hey. So, Nish, yeah, you said you would. Abby, would you? In a relationship, I'd be more inclined to try something than if someone I'm just casually linking. Like, what the hell? What do you fucking mean? You just say that, but you might be having the best sex of your life with them. Yeah, but what, what the hell are they going to tell me? <laughs> you may actually, though, in it. Like, potentially, potentially. Imagine if someone just shows you a I'd... whole new life and you're like, wow, it's wow. Wow. <laughs> So, I'll be like, listen, we need to get married because I can't <laughs> let nobody have you. <laughs> you mad yeah, now. I've seen, man, I've seen man rub themselves <laughs> out through experiments. Oh. I ain't going that way, bro. Um, can we have an example, maybe? Man, I've or? seen man. Yo, man, nah. It's peak. <laughs> <laughs> Molly and all them mad thing. Nah, brother. Oh, yeah. I'm a normal guy. <laughs> no. It's peak, That's man. Nah, I'm not trying. Like, I get it. <laughs> but there's nowhere Sorry, else. Because that's, that's the danger. <laughs> Of sex, in it limits, bro. Like for me, <laughs> where else is there to go past intercourse? Like we're doing this. No, so, surely there must be more. Yeah. What, no, so no. what are you saying? Just it's just strictly. <laughs> no, I don't out. know what you're talking about. 
Don't get, I've seen mad things in this 2020, 2021. No, and but there's loads of things you should try. Yeah, you should try bondage. What you Yeah, you up and dagger up. <laughs> she tie up to the bed. No, I've said that to girls bare times, but try her up with what though? <laughs> Would you be on it wow. if she tied you up? No, tie up who and live where? Oh, oh, yeah, nah. no. But I'm not. You know, I'm not adventurous. It's the twenty. It's twenty twenty one. Do you nah, know what I mean? So you. what? You're just doing the black and white vanilla sex. <laughs> Why has it got to be vanilla? Bro? No, not. Oh, well, what do you think? When it's me, it's strawberry. It's no, it's not about strawberry. When it's man, chocolate. It's tropical chocolate. <laughs> Everything. You can make the normal thing be exciting, but the How? people them just want to do the mad thing all the time. But you don't have to take drugs and all of them. <laughs> no, but why yeah. is your mind going straight to drugs though? Just Tons, in man. terms of the sex, like, uh, what are you, are you the kind? Are you just doing this, the same position all the time, or you, yeah, the like same how routine? Do you, like, are you yourself? switching it up? How did I reinvent myself? What is <laughs> that Why do you need to reinvent? Not yourself? reinvent yourself, yeah, but like. You know, spruce up the mood. Like, not every... My I don't know. Said, how did you reinvent yourself? <laughs> no. Is this what the man in my team is out here? I am tired then. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, like, right, what do you do? Actually, maybe not. Forget it. Forget it. Maybe no, that's what? Just, what? Um, what? Have you been in a situation where casual sex has turned into something serious? Um, oh, these edibles are moving <laughs> <laughs> I need one of them right now. Um, hey, say it again. Uh, Where okay, so just like serious? Been, um, um, no, but I'm, what I was going to say is, how did you know it got serious? Like, did you not have a conversation or did you not start moving different? Did you say, like, right, you're seeing different people? What, going from casual to... Mm. When you've both addressed, like, you want to move forward? I've never been really in that situation. So I, I don't like, know if... No, like, I feel like I've, I've, I've linked somebody and I've caught feelings 100%, but mm. I've never really admitted to them that I've felt that way. I've kept that to myself because I knew it wasn't that. Yeah. And obviously in my but own imagine if you told them and they were like, you know what? I hear that. I feel the same. Yeah, it's a good point. That's a good point. But I just never did it. Mm. And obviously I felt a way about and then I just kind of pulled myself back. That's how I just hand, handle the situation. I know if I'm like, if I was to like see somebody, mm. if it was to be a casual thing, I couldn't see them for a long I don't know how girls will see people for like years or months. And not know what it is. Yeah, yeah. like that's that for me, obviously there's I will feel But sometimes yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you can't think every girl's like you because mm. Some, some people don't, are, yeah, you're yeah. With that. And then yeah. as well, some people, if you're having casual sex, you're not just at risk of like catching anything. Like some people get pregnant, so you could, out of a casual situation, now then end up with a child. Serious, so it's yeah. not just like it's that true. side of it. You've got to think about the other side because it's like. And rough. also, like as well, one thing that I would always kind of be a bit paro of is that okay, we could be seeing each other, talking or whatever, doing what we're doing, but mm. are you doing this to somebody else? Yeah. And that's the thing, that's when, when it's casual, like, yeah. it, it could always be that. But that's what I'm saying, would a... you have that conversation with that person? I they feel like you kind of have to. to. You have to. What? You think that they lie? Yeah, it's gonna yeah lie, obviously they're going to... They, they lie. could lie, innit? You would lie. I lie. No, I, I lied. You've lied past. before. Why no. did you lie? Why did you lie? No. Yeah, good question. I want it because... You wanted both. You thought she would be like, I'm not on it. Certain times, yeah, you might be in a casual thing with a girl and it's got serious and you know that. But it's a thing where, like you said, innit? You ain't really said it to them. It might be a thing where you you might even know it's the same way, but you know just by chance you you won't put all your seeds in one something. You mm. understand? You, you plant right. won't plug all your eggs in one basket. Because you might think raw. Because what if I just go for my girl and she's Not doing what I'm doing? Yeah, mm. it's a mad thing. Yeah. So, but so, then when you say to her, you know what, I want to get serious. And she says to you, you know what, I'm not going to lie, like, this basically has been serious for me. Like, you've been the only guy for X amount of months. But you hear know. what I'm saying? I will only be with you if I've, if, I've only, if I've been the only girl. And I'll look her in the eye and I'll say, babe, <laughs> you're the only one. And then you'll say, go to your phone that's what she was saying. <laughs> that's bad. You're lying. How's it bad, though? Because you're putting that girl at risk. No, but later on, and I'll tell her the truth. And then some poor little girl get ghosted. Yeah. yeah. What, why is no, it but she knows. Responded. Make your fake account to message you like, hey, 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 nah, hey, 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 hey. Nah, nah, oh, yeah, this guy needs to settle down with Rosemary. No, Carla, I agree. <laughs> but like, Rosemary, do not like, you know. Nah, no, sweet. but... In that situation, how would you navigate... Okay, how did you actually navigate that situation? Because I really want to know. What did you do? Did you get serious with the... No? I'm not even trying to talk that. Like okay. That. Do you know what it is? I will. Fuck it. I'm a G. Bro, come on. We like that. We love you it. See, when I but when I first found out I was having a U, it was peak. Like I was, I was a free agent basically. Mm. So, the certain like one girl I told her in it. I thought, you know what? It's peak. Oh, you had a lot of girl at the time. Nah, I didn't. 
Fuck. See, I don't need it. I don't like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. yeah. I mean, sorry. let's just say there was three girls. Okay. That I was chatting to. Okay, you got options. <laughs> nah, it was just I was young. Yeah. I was living life. Yeah. So doing your thing. Doing my thing. Obviously, I've showed her. Obviously, certain girls. I didn't tell them in it. Because it's like, I know it sounds fucked, but you know when you do the brother, they're going to know eventually. Mm, eventually. Where is he? You're going to find out one day. You've got a child. When you see me. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's life, life of a guan. That's you wicked and bad. But that's <laughs> fucked. But that's what I'm saying. That's fucked, isn't it? But it's life, man. I don't. You, everyone's lying out here, man. Life is a facade. Do you think? Yeah, like, it's, it's, I think a lot of human relationship is the facade, isn't it? It's all about mm. smoke and mirror, showing the, uh, the angle of yourself, what will benefit that person. Yeah. And I kind of, yeah. Because certain guys will say that to you, and they're blatantly lying. They were chatting to that mm. free yeah. man. Mm. But yeah. that's what you want to hear, though. Yeah, mm. so. Yeah. yeah. And you know, like, it's, yeah. Yeah. But, well, am I the only person that answered that question, though? Are you the one? Wait, no, well, I don't even remember what the question was. Have none of you lot, you you've question. never had, casual, you've never caught feelings from oh, casual. Oh, I, I, I said, I, I said my piece. Yes, so what happened? Why am I so, on okay, so. <laughs> Why to them? So I told you. Sister. Yeah. <laughs> so I just, when I started to catch feelings, because I knew like what, you know, the situation was at hand, I just pulled myself back because I thought, I can't be fe- that worried about if you're talking Did to Did you make them me. aware of your feelings? I think they gathered in my behaviour, like little remarks I probably started making like, but you didn't tell them. No, I, di- I never really handled <laughs> the situation the right way. But mm. it's because I just felt like, I just kind of felt like, if you know what you're signing up for, you can't then like, I know, I know that you're going to say. But sometimes circumstance changes, Of course, it? So of course. You, he, and are you sure they understood what was going on? They probably thought I moved mad. Yeah. But at the same time, I wasn't probably even ready for anything or wanted, like, yeah. thought, obviously feelings was there, but it didn't make sense. Like, mm. It didn't make sense at the time. So I felt like, you know what, I've tried this. Didn't quite work. Let me just pull myself out of the situation. Mm. Obviously, mm. it probably was a bit of a mad thing. I should have probably given an explanation or whatever, but I just felt like, yeah, I needed to rein it in. That's why I say, like, personally, for me, if I was to be seeing someone on a casual thing, it couldn't be for a long period of time because I know eventually... You'll catch it, feelings. Yeah, like, I'll be concerned. Yeah. Like, okay, are you talking to anyone else? Like, but why... That, marry me. Yeah, like, why are you always liking these girls' pictures? Hello? Hello? It's true. I'm here. And especially if you're sleeping with them because I yeah. feel like... Sometimes people can feel as though sex has like spiritual spirituality attached to yeah, it. There is, man. Do you ever feel like mm, I wouldn't say spiritual, it's spiritual, but I think there's like do you, do you guys think it's about like soul ties? What do you think yeah. about soul ties? I don't believe in soul ties. I believe in like I believe in soulmates and that kind of thing and twin flames mm. and all that stuff. But I don't believe in soul ties as such. Mm. Do you believe that sex is attached to any type of spirituality? Yes, I would energy. say energy. Yeah, I think yeah, you're energy. definitely transferring energy. And yeah, because I saw something about If you're lying down that. with someone that's wicked and bad, mm. you're best believe you've got some wicked and bad in your thing. Yeah. yeah. True. Know who you're laying down with because you don't <laughs> want wow. that wicked and bad in you. It's true. <laughs> you don't. But no, it's true. Yeah, I did see something like that saying about like transferring vibes. Like, it's well, you I always hear them stories deep. about, you know, like them stories you watch on YouTube how one like person had sex with somebody else and it was like witchery. Have you I never watched watch a video online? online. No. I watched on the 90s baby. Give us yeah. I watched on the nineties baby podcast. Oh, they really? literally did an episode. I can't remember who it was what, with and he was basically telling a story about how one guy was seeing this girl and she was a, a witch and like after they had had sex, mm. they were like, he was like a, a zombie or some mad oh, thing and the parents prayed him. I know it sounds mad, but I'm too it's close far to fetched. The Lord for that. I'm Amen. 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 Have you not, not seen this thing here. online? Oh, you no, I've not yeah. seen it. Yeah, I'm going to send it to you. I'm going to send it to you. I know what you're you talking about. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. yeah, I've watched it. Do you it. believe in that kind of thing? I don't think it's that far fetched, isn't it? But I think, as you lot have said previously, like there is energy attached to sex. Yeah, mm. no, 100%. So, it's definitely a transfer yeah. of the energy. Yeah. You can't deny that. Yeah. I the casual sex anyway. thing. Yeah. I think it's deeper no, than just an act. You know what I mean? Like, not saying. I feel like feelings, emotions, obviously, yeah. But I feel like you are building a connection with somebody. Like, you know, mm. I yeah. think it's quite deep. So, I just think um, the most important thing is like being real about how you're feeling, isn't it? Mm. Like, so if it is a thing where you've got into a situation and now you're starting to feel like rah i like you or i don't want to do this anymore blah mm. blah blah you communicate that, that to them rather mm. than just like 
feeling away or just cutting them off, um, which is like probably something that I would do. <laughs> <laughs> But like you should actually you, you should communicate in it and say, well, like, this is how right. I'm feeling, blah blah blah, yeah. because their feelings might have changed. And also, if you continue to to stay in a situation that you're not fully happy with the terms and you're not fully, do you know what I mean? Like if you want something more serious and you're being you're in this casual thing and he's mm. doing his thing, blah blah blah, then you're gonna end up feeling like an idiot. Yeah, like, that's true. Do you know what that's I mean? True. And you know another thing, yeah, because when people are in like a casual situation, I feel like sometimes they can be unsafe because you know when you feel comfortable with somebody yeah. and say they're reassuring you like you said mm. they might be lying to you saying oh like i'm only sleeping with you i think at all times be safe because i think especially in our culture like there's a lot of like baby mom baby father dra- like drama not and even just that though, and not even just that it's dangerous because it's, yeah. it's like it's, you, you can catch you can, something yeah and you, that's you, you can't get rid of you'll be stuck for life down with you and he's stung you he's yeah. given you something yeah, yeah he's yeah. Done, but he finds out cool and he has he doesn't have any intention of telling you then you go to the doctors a year later or whatever and they're telling you ah oh, you've got um so and so yeah whatever. i don't know you can't endometriosis yeah. Yeah, you or can't you've reproduce. got um yeah you're you're, you're you've got cysts or something mm. and it's affected your fertility because mm. my man knew that he gave you something yeah or even mm. he didn't know but now by now maybe he knows mm. and because he doesn't want to feel shame and say well yeah i was sleeping with other girls mm. you now may not have kids like yeah. that's mad it's deep. It's and it goes deep. both ways because if you're mm. a girl and you're out there obviously and you're you're, you're not you're using protection yeah. yeah you're just doing your mm. mad thing and you got people pulling wool over people's eyes then psh, it won't mm. and do you know what's mad yeah i feel like we didn't really even understand all of this until we was out of school like the schools ain't teaching these young no, people no, about no, all these no. kinds of they're stuff. They're teaching you how to put a condom on a banana, like, like, but they're not actually talking about... And it's real, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's crazy still. No, I hear that so. It's Definitely. a big... I don't know, man. I just it's think that people should be wary of casual sex. Obviously, it's fun or whatever, but it has no, implications. Yeah. Feelings-wise, you might get you. There's just bare yeah. extras on it. Definitely. And you just got to know, like, be true to yourself. Know mm. what you can handle because... Not everyone can, can handle it. <laughs> I'll be real. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, no, nah, definitely, I agree. I definitely think, like, go be real with yourself. You can have your fun, whatever, but also be smart, be careful, um, mm. and be clued up, definitely. Yeah. And get, get tested as well. Regularly. Mm. Mm-hmm. Right, isn't it? Use protection. <laughs> anyone else got anything they want to say? Because we're like... You look like you're asleep. Well, guys, that's not what you think about this episode. If you've got anything you want to touch on in regards to this, let us know. All comments appreciated, you know. <laughs> um, and be sure to see the next one. We've got another juicy episode coming real soon, so make sure you look out for it. See you later. <laughs>